Hey friends, it's Pastor Julie checking in for your midweek children's time. This month is Women's History Month. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna talk about women characters in the Bible this month. Um, but one of the things that I want to challenge you to do this month is think about important women in your life and um, or in people, important women that you admire um, in history or in the community, um, those kinds of broad spectrums. So today I'm going to read you a story about Miriam. It is written by Victoria Kovacs and illustrated by Mike Crone. The ruler of Egypt is an evil pharaoh who orders all the Hebrew baby boys to be killed. One mother has a plan to protect her baby boy. She makes a papyrus basket, coats it with clay and tar to make it float, and places the baby inside. The mother and her daughter, Miriam, put the basket in the reeds along the riverbank. They pray for God to take care of their baby. Miriam is a very brave big sister. She hides and watches over her brother's floating basket. Pharaoh's daughter comes to the river to take a bath. She sees the basket and looks inside. Miriam is worried. What will the princess do to her little brother? The princess picks up the basket and says, I will take care of this baby as my own. Miriam runs to the princess and asks bravely, would you like me to find a nurse for the baby? Yes, answers the princess. Miriam is happy. Now her brother is safe. She takes him home so their mother can be his nurse. The baby stays with his real family a little while longer. When Miriam's brother is older, their mother brings him to the princess. The princess names him Moses. Moses grows up to become a great leader of his people. And that is the end of that story. So one of the things that is really neat about Miriam is she comes back um, again later in the Bible when Moses becomes a prophet. She helps her brother along with Aaron um, do the work of God. So she's also called, often called a prophetess along with her brother Moses and Aaron. Thank you so much for um, checking in this day and I hope you learned a little, about, a little bit more about Miriam in the Bible and I hope you spend time this month um, researching and appreciating women in history and current women in your life and in your community. See you on Sunday.